What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. This is Lumber Capital Log Yard. Thanks for pressing on this video. Today I'm going to be going over the AccuSet 2 computer, how to save um, the, your dimensions and just overall programming and how to use it. I have a pine log rolled up onto the mill today and I'm probably just going to cut some 2x4s out of it so we can go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go over kind of like the basics of how to use the AccuSet set too because going from uh, the mill down from this one it's just the computer is completely different uh, I think it's not necessarily the mill but the computer programming for the LT35 that we had um, was the simple set that's what it was called simple set and this one was the Athi set too so um, very different <laughs> But let's just walk this up here and I'll try and explain it the best I can. On one of my older videos, I went over this, but my pattern, as far as my pattern goes on this, um, it's very different now than it was back then. So uh, I just kind of wanted to do an updated version of that video. On pattern, I kind of have it organized here. It's not completely organized, I'm sure not nearly as organized as some, but, I, and I still have some blank space on here too, but basically you have 16 different uh, spots that you can basically store different dimensions in. So I have, um, so if you press one here, you can have four different programming uh, programs in on just number one, and then on number two is the same, you can have four different dimensions there saved. And same on three and four. So I have different stuff saved on all of them, obviously. On one, I have dropping one inch to eight inch wide, 10 inch wide, two inches. This would just be like when I go to um, plane saw down and I just want to cut one inch all the way down and leave the last inch, uh, the last piece two inch. That's what I have for that. And then six inch over on three, I have 14 and 12, that's if I need like to have a 12 inch wide board and I ha it's like a very large log and I have to cut off a lot of flitches, I might set it so that it will stop me at 12 before I turn it and actually start to plain saw it. <laughs> um, I don't know if that makes sense, hopefully that does. I don't know if everybody does it how I do it. I don't, I honestly have no idea what anybody else does, this is just how I do it, so. I'm going to go ahead and make the first few cuts on this log and I'll see you back here in a minute. So I'm happy with how the first side of my log looks, so I turned it and now I'm going it, or I'm getting prepared to make my second cut, um, take the second slab off. And so here the question is where to cut because I'm actually going to make this eight inches because this is going to be the width of my board. Now technically I could take it right off at 8 inches, but say this was a little bit larger of a log and I didn't want to cut a slab off that big because I can get another board out of it. And say I wanted to cut it at somewhere like 9 and then drop it 1 inch, I would use my auto down to drop it an inch. So I'd have to, and then see it gets me right at 8. Um, but also if your log is super super big and say you want like a 12 inch and this is what I was saying before going to 12 inches like this then you can drop it as many times as you want and it'll get you right to 12 
Whereas if you use, were to use your auto down and keep dropping it one inch, you might not end up right at 12 inches. It's going to be off by the time you get it all the way down just because auto down measures from the top up whereas pattern measures from the bottom up so you're going to get a very more exact dimension using your pattern over your auto down so both are good it's just knowing when to use either one i also wanted to go over how to save your dimensions to begin with and that's really important because I literally forget how to do it and have to go back and watch my other video to remember how. So, I don't know, maybe you just have to store this video somewhere if, you, if you're like me and you keep on forgetting. I, I change it all the time. I also leave some blank and I'll find one that's still blank for you guys to program in so I can give an example. Um, the blank ones on mine just came up with like one, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. Um, and so you can see I have two inch. That's what I use for cutting two by fours or you know any two inch really. I'll just drop it two inches at a time. But that one is blank. See, all those are blank. I have my 14 and my 12, but these ones are blank. So I still have a few that are blank. These are my one and one fourth, one half, one inch, one eighth. Those are really helpful to have because then that saves all that tricky math that you have to do with, um, if, with if you have like a simple set or whatever. So it's way, way more accurate and way less math on our side, which I have never liked math to begin with, so I'm not complaining. Anyhow, back to what I was saying. I will do one, I'll find a blank one here. All right, so what should I make this one? Actually, let me do this one. I'll make a f one of four so I can um, do four by four. So I don't have a four in yet. So I make the top, if you make the top one, like if you're going to have all the dimensions be the same and you just make the top one what you want. Oh, I passed it now. It's kind of tricky go one at a time and it takes forever but if you go too fast you'll skip it so see I have the top one what I want and now if I just push down or that button it's not really the down button but if you push the pattern button again now you see that all of them change to four so that's helpful it saves you a little bit of time because they know that you might just want them all to be the same so now if I have like a can't that I just want to cut four by fours out of I can drop four inches at a time so now how do you save that? So what you're going to do is you're going to push manual and then you're going to push the up button or the up arrow <laughs> and it's going to be this menu here and you're going to push save and then you're just going to push save again and so now when you go back to pattern it's going to be there now you you might be struggling and wondering why you set all of these and then when you turn off like it, if you never turn off your machine it'll just stay like that but then as soon as you turn off your machine they all go back to blank and so then some people will literally program in every single time you don't have to do that you just need to save your dimensions that'll save you a lot of time and effort Okay, so now we almost have this log squared up. We have one more side to take off. 
and I'm going to be cutting two by fours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to pattern and I'm going to go to my two inch drops right here. And I'm basically just going to go to the top of my log, like so just with the kind of level with the top of the log. And then I'm just gonna bounce it down and it's gonna drop to two inches. And that's gonna tell me where I need to take my first slab off so that um, it measures correctly all the way down two inches so there's no waste cut. Um, so that right there is exactly where I'm going to make my cut right there and that's Well, I hope that you can take something away from this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like and subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.